Hey everyone, it's Colin. Wanted to give you a quick walk around video of my BMW E28 528e. It is the 2.7 liter M20 engine. Um, anyways, so this is it. It is Alpine white. Picked it up a couple of years ago. Been slowly modifying it over some time. All right. Let me open it up for you. Here's the inside of my 528E. It's a five speed manual. Has the comfort seats. All right, starting up my car here. On the interior, you'll see it's really simple, uh, kind of BMW-esque, as you can say. Uh, very driver-oriented, which is nice. So this center stack is all oriented towards the driver. Um, you have a nice place to put some coins. You have manual shift knob here. You have buttons. Uh, this weird button will make it so that way you can't roll down the windows. It's a power cutoff switch. Uh, you also have your AC compressor in here. Um, and then also you have temperature controls over here you also have I have this radio that I wired in uh, and the fader cut out the factory amp um, no need for that when you have a new radio system um, also you have this really weird computer that sometimes dies out so mine burned out just recently um, that was an issue a while back here you also have a nice place for keeping stuff uh, and then you can also sometimes they come with a BMW flashlight Oops. Kind of closes weird on the inside here. See that we have a moonroof. Check control panel. Mine doesn't work right. I have to get a new one. Hit the button, doesn't do anything. If you look over here, light controls are. So let me turn all these on for you. Turn on the fogs, and we'll go outside of the car. All right, so on the outside of the car, you can see it's actually pretty simple. Um, it's Alpine white, and what's nice about it is I actually ended up putting uh, BBS wheels on it. So these are the BMW OEM wheels. They're 17 inch. They're from the BMW 7 series. These have Continental DWs on them. On the exterior, I ended up putting Hella H4s, so that way I can swap out bulbs without having to buy a whole new assembly every time. Also put Hella fog lights in. This is the BMW 535iS front valance. Really hard to find these. They usually go for about $300 nowadays. Okay, so opening up the hood. Now you may notice a couple weird things. Um, they actually don't make this part anymore. So the air intake boot, they don't make that anymore. So mine's just duct taped for now. Not a good idea. I wouldn't recommend doing that at all. Just because I had one from an E30 and that one broke. So I'm, I'm back to the old part that was just duct taped. You have the battery in the front. You can actually rewire it to the back if you wanted to for better stability among the car. Fuse control panel. This is annoying because sometimes it flops off. Brake fluid. Looks like it's running good. Have a roof rack on here I bought for 75 bucks. Got a good deal on it. My favorite part about the E20 is this angle right here. Absolutely love this side fin. Tail lights can be a little weird sometimes. I don't have tail light issues, I used to. Now they're fixed. My car is actually just straight piped. I have a fake IS spoiler. Not bad, I got it painted, but um, the real ones are like 400 bucks and it's like, why do I need to pay $400 for a spoiler? So no need. Uh, one of my other favorite things about the BMW 
E28s is you have this nice little side stripe, which is kind of cool. Uh, mine's coming off. My car's also getting a little dirty right now, so I will be painting it soon and also getting a new stripe done to it. Opening up the rear here. Here's interior door panels, really simple, nothing much. Ended up re-gluing most of this in here. Some pockets. Kind of simple, you have a, you can use to pull down. Pull that down, you have a center, speakers in the back. You have that tail light, which is a really annoying, it just flops around sometimes. Here's a view from the back seat of what it looks like. All right, thanks for taking a look at my 1987 BMW 528e. Appreciate it. Make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'm going to be posting more E28 videos soon.